Ozzy Osbourne is currently making plans for two final performances to say goodbye to his fans after an iconic career. And even that is an understatement. It's been challenging for me to even put into words what Ozzy's done for this music that we love. And, you know, it's been emotional for me to even see him saying goodbye, to even see him talking about those final performances. We all knew this day would come. We've seen the past retirement tours and, you know, the jokes that have been made about that. But this time's for real. It's been tough seeing Ozzy over the last five to seven years dealing with health issues and dealing with injuries because of just how strongly we all feel about him, just how much we're rooting for him to be able to get back on stage. I've seen the comments of people saying that Ozzy's being pushed by someone to perform. He doesn't really want to, that he needs money. I assure you he doesn't need money. I don't think he's even thinking about money in this. When you look into his eyes, when you hear him talk about this, you know he's telling the truth. Ozzy Osbourne lives to perform for his fans. So there's talk of these two shows taking place in the UK. It could happen on the moon and I'm going to go see it. And I think that it's going to be one of the fastest selling ticket movements probably ever. Just considering how many people Ozzy has reached, how many people from around the world are going to try to come in and see these final two performances and what a life and career it's been for him. From People Magazine here, it says, Ozzy Osbourne will play two concerts in his hometown as goodbye to fans, says Sharon. He won't tour again. She says, he won't tour again, but we're planning on doing two more shows to say goodbye as he feels like, I've never said goodbye to my fans and I wanna say goodbye properly, Sharon said during her Cut the Crap tour stop in London, according to Rolling Stone UK. She says, his voice is still absolutely perfect, which you can hear on the latest albums that he's done. His voice sounds amazing. Uh, she says he's continued taking singing lessons. And again, look at those actions. That's where his heart is, getting up on stage. Now they haven't announced any dates yet, but you can bet when they announce these shows, there will be a seismic event in rock and heavy metal because of so many people from around the world hoping to get a chance to attend myself included. So joining me now, she knows a thing or two about Ozzy Osbourne. She's covered him for years. Allison Hagendorf, the host of the Allison Hagendorf show. I just got to do a special shout out for her because she has incredible guests on her podcast. Like we're talking the biggest names in the game. Uh, link to her channel in the, uh, in the description here. Follow, subscribe, check her out. So Allison, um, Ozzy Osbourne potentially playing two final shows. It seems like they're gonna try to make this happen. Can you talk about how much this means and what a moment this will be for the history of rock and metal? It's everything, Brian. And thank you for that introduction. I appreciate it and much love and respect to you and what you do. So, you know, Ozzy is the godfather of metal. He is in a league of his own. You know, he, of course, Black Sabbath, you know, part of the creation of heavy metal, but Ozzy Osbourne has had his own career that's transcended Black Sabbath, you know? So, I mean, he's had 13 studio albums just with Ozzy Osbourne alone. So it's really impressive as far as career-wise. These two shows is what he wanted. He wanted to have it on his own terms. He's 75. He has had spinal surgery, which, by the way, is, is taxing it and, and brutal at any age. And he is 75 after the years of touring. He said he's had these stem cell treatments. He's been doing nonstop physical therapy. And when he had to cancel those shows last year, that was, that was devastating to him because, you know, he cares so much about the fans. So having these two final shows in Birmingham, his hometown, where it all started for him, also where Peaky Blinders takes place, um, this means everything to him. This is what it's about. Absolutely. And the thing that stood out for me, too, is he could basically announce this was going to be on the moon and I'm going to have to go to this because this is just yeah. a historic moment. And one of the things that kind of recurs in the comments that I really disagree with is this idea that he doesn't want to perform and someone's pushing him to perform. I think uh, you would agree with this. Really, Ozzy is determined to get back up on stage. And it seems to be something that is so important to him. It's everything to him. Again, the fans are everything to him. He has said he wanted to have a proper goodbye. He has been continuing his singing lessons. 
through all of the pain and all the recovery, he has continued his singing lessons. His voice is on point. It's impeccable. He is ready to rock. He is ready to celebrate his fans and the journey that really you've all had together. It's a family. Totally. And I wanted to say, too, you've gotten to spend time with Ozzy. Very few people have. I've never met him. Yeah. Um, and I, the people that I've spoken to that have spent time with him just talk about what a kind person he is. What was that experience like, getting to spend a day with Ozzy? I have to tell you, I am so blessed and fortunate to have the opportunities to spend time with my heroes. But, of course, Ozzy Osbourne is in a league of his own. And to spend a, a day with him. I was actually with uh, producer Andrew Watt. Great producer. It was uh, oh, Andrew Watt. He's incredible. He's the new Rick Rubin. Yes. I mean, Andrew Watt is everything. It was around um, Ordinary Man, that album release in 2020, and spent the afternoon together just literally going through the album, talking about the songs. Every second of it, I was like, this is a gift, this is a gift, this is a gift. I also love that album. I think that Ordinary Man is absolutely groundbreaking. I mean, his collaboration with Post Malone and Travis Scott. Like, and I love that song. Yes. Like, only Ozzy can do that. You know, I think Ozzy's ability to connect with the, with the new generation. I mean, it's insane. Is, is, is unique to Ozzy, you know. Artists like Youngblood, who wanted, like, Ozzy in his video, like, Ozzy is larger than life. He's bigger than metal. He's bigger than music. He's bigger than all of us. So I think Ozzy does a really good job about really caring about the fans and all audiences. He's a lover. He's really inclusive. He just wants to celebrate his fans. But to answer your question, spending that day with Ozzy Osbourne, one of the greatest gifts of my life. I can't even imagine it. And just to touch on Andrew Watt here for a little bit as well. Yeah. He, what he did on those records, that's where I kind of really started to notice him. Yeah. I love how he's able to capture the essence of an artist, but also modernize it. Those records, yeah. typically you find an artist late in their career. Uh, sometimes maybe the music doesn't hold up. Maybe 10 years later, 15 years later, people right. aren't talking about it. Those albums that he's done with, with Andrew Watt are really records of quality. They absolutely are. I mean... I start with Ordinary Man because I believe that was their first uh, record together. And that album is magic. It really is. You know, and of course, you know, Patient Number Nine. I mean, all of this music is fresh. It's exciting. I want to listen to it. I also think it's some of Ozzy's best vocal performances. And to be delivering his best vocal performance as a septuagenarian in his, like, he's in his 70s. He's in his 70s, and honestly, he sounds better than ever. And Andrew Watt, you know, his work with the Rolling Stones, with Pearl Jam, he's helping these artists. He's almost like a catalyst for some of the best music of these artists' careers. It's really exciting. I am grateful for Andrew Watt. So for Ozzy Osbourne, the one thing that I struggle with when I talk about him on this channel, you know, there's a lot of legends in this game. There's a lot of people who have done mountains move mountains and music the one thing yeah. that i can't really adequately convey is how much on a different level ozzy osbourne is you know he's the the paul mccartney of metal as far as i'm concerned he's a giant in this industry for him to go out these final two shows which sound like they're going to happen um it sounds like they're very serious about this if they do um you know what do you think the type of demand is going to be for that? I know I'm going to try to squeeze in there somehow. You know, I just went through something similar. I was fortunate to host the final Kiss show yes. at Madison Square Garden. That was Garden, incredible for you was, also. I loved that. Uh, again, another like, oh my God moment. I'm sitting down for, with Gene Simmons and, and Paul Stanley for their final interviews while as Kiss. You know, I mean, just those moments... It's more than just an epic show or like, you know, thinking about the songs they're playing. It's really understanding that this is a moment in time that will never happen again. It is literally part of history. Yes. And I think Ozzy with these shows, it's, it's like, it's next level. I mean, Ozzy Osbourne, he is, again, he's larger than life. Whether it was like his, his, his role with Black Sabbath, okay, literally being one of the, the, the forefathers of, of heavy metal. But again, so let's say he started with Black Sabbath in 1968. He's been doing solo albums since 1979. 1980 was his debut solo album. He has been making music. He sold over 100 million albums. 
It's insane. Everyone, people who don't even know the music know him from his reality show. He now is doing his family podcast. I mean, the man is a trailblazer. I mean, that's a, that's an understatement yeah. of, of the of the century. I mean, he's just one of one. It's Ozzy Osbourne. And I think this is the year of Ozzy Osbourne. I do. I do and, and I'll tell you what, if, if that show, if those two shows come to fruition, it's going to be, you know, a celebration for, you know, he ha he's not just a musician. He's a, a culture all in and all of himself. He, he really put heavy metal on the map in a lot of ways. And uh, it's just, I'll tell you, it, it, it sometimes makes me emotional to see when you when you hear him talk about wanting to get back up on that stage uh and and you see a man you look in his eyes you see how determined he is to get back up on stage for that reason alone i want to go out there and and support because yeah. i don't care if he's in a wheelchair i don't care how he performs i want to be there and show that man love for all he's done for this music that we all love so much I couldn't agree more. He's such a special person. He is one of a kind. We're lucky that he's in our lifetime. You know, I mean, that's special because you hear about these greats and you're like, we didn't live during their time. We didn't know. But Ozzy is in our lifetime. We have to go, Brian. I'll be arm in arm yes. with you at that show. Like, we need to yes. go. I look forward to that very much flying over there uh, whenever this is announced. And so, uh, Allison, yes. thank you so much for joining us. I couldn't think of a better person to have on to talk about this. Allison Hagendorf Show. Check her out. Link in the description. Definitely subscribe. Uh, you know, and so awesome. uh, we'll have you on again very soon. I really appreciate you. Awesome. I appreciate you and all that you do for our community, for culture, and rock. Thank you so much. Of all the things we've covered on this channel, this is truly one of the biggest moments where you look at someone like Ozzy Osbourne who has had an iconic, over-the-top career. For him to say goodbye to his fans, that's truly going to be a historic moment in rock and metal. Unlike anything I've ever seen before, I hope to have the opportunity to go there and pay tribute to the legend myself because his music has meant so much to me and so much to all of you at home. Share your favorite memories from Ozzy in the comments down below. Let me know what you all think about this. Of course, that's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe and notifications on for the latest news and updates.